On this episode of RC Kicks, we're taking a good look at this, a vintage Tamiya. Now this is the 18th kit ever made by the manufacturer, and we're gonna dive into it, have a look at it. It's got a bit of a story. This one was gifted to me by an RC Kicks viewer, and I have got all the history of this. So we're gonna take a look at it, see what kind of restoration level is required to bring this back to a lovely shelf queen. So stay tuned. Okay, so let me give you a bit of a backstory on this one. Every now and again, people contact me and they are kind enough to offer me old vintage RC cars and things like that. Now, I've got a real thing personally for cars that have history. I remember having my Grasshopper and my Falcon when I was young and what I did with them and I took them racing and I played around with them and then I put them in the loft and they were lost to time. But every now and again, people get hold of me and say, oh, I've got this car, would you like it? And then I ask them about their history and their backstory about it. And if it's something that I'm really interested in, I say send it over, because I've got a bit of a plan. And my plan is eventually, if I can open a racetrack, I want to have a wall with RC cars that also have a story that I restore on the show, then it goes on display. Also, I get a le letter sent to me telling me what it is and what the backstory was and then I can frame that letter and put it with the car that way that when people come to the track and they want to look around they've got lots of old vintage cars to look at that have been restored on the channel but also that there's a letter from every single person so that they can read the backstory I know that might sound a little bit silly, but that's something I really, really like. So what I tend to do is if it's a car that I think I can restore and it has a good story, then I'll put it into storage and then I'll build it on the show, restore it, whatever. Now that doesn't mean I have to restore it exactly back to box art. I have got some that were modified and then were raced and then they've been sent to me that have been dragged out of a loft that I would restore back to how it looked but as in good condition as possible. Now this one was sent to me by a lovely gentleman called uh, Timothy Pimlot. He's from uh, Coventry and he got in contact with me and he sent me a whole letter which is fantastic. That's exactly what, so I can then frame this letter later on and that's the plan and I think that'll be a really nice thing that when people come um, and it shows some history and stuff because these cars, it's all about our sort of childhood and what we did and, and the stories behind it. So um, he actually raced this one. Now this is the 18th kit ever released by Tamiya. And it is, wow. It's actually in reasonably good condition, so it shouldn't be too difficult to restore. Now this is the Rolt RT2 Heart 420R. This is kit RA1018, released the 14th of February, 1980 and it's the last F2 chassis from Tamiya. The actual original car was number 14, was driven by Brian Henton back in 1979. It definitely shows his age, that's for sure, but it's pretty much complete. There is a few things that are broken, but I'm hoping that someone out there has a part that I need for this. So what I'll do, is I'll take the body off. Notice there's no body pins as well, which is really, really good. And the driver's barely changed at all since then. It's a hard body. Now there's two clips, whoops, there's two clips at the front, and then it just lifts off. Now the body itself looks to be in pretty good condition. There doesn't seem to be any damage. It has been painted. It is in a blue plastic. But what I'll probably try and do is you can get aftermarket uh, decals is I will probably strip this down, repaint it and get the driver professionally painted and maybe the exhaust done and then restore it back from that point of view. So I'll probably do that. It seems to be complete. There's a little bit of um, this has been sort of, no one says broken, I just say it's been unstuck, come away, but it seems to be all there, so uh, that's a godsend. The front splitter 
has come away, but it looks fine. It can just be glued back on again, I think. It looks like maybe it's snapped off. Yeah, so it's actually snapped off. So that'll have to be um, glued back into place. And then, but luckily it's got all its electronics in it. Now, the thing that surprised me the most about this is it's got a 380 motor in it and it's not what I'd call light, especially with a hard body. So it's probably not the quickest thing you've ever seen. But uh, it's got the old mechanical speed controller, the servos. I'm not sure if the electronics work or not. I will try and bring them back and just keep the electronics as they are. It actually has, it's not a solid axle. It actually has a uh, diff in the wheel. Wow. Now the tires look okay. There's no cracking or anything, so they should come up well. And I think if I strip it down and rebuild it, I can make it look almost like new. Now it has seen a bit of wear and tear along the bottom, but maybe if I can polish that a little bit. Um, but I don't mind that too much because it's a part of the story. But luckily it's all in one piece. I'll have to find a battery that fits. Um, the part that I'm actually missing that's damaged is the upright the upright has snapped off at the back. So if anyone has got an F2 upright, uh, drop me a message and I'll be happy to take that off your hands so that I can get this up and running again. But apart from that, it all looks to be in lovely condition. So there you go. Uh, what else can I tell you uh, from Timothy? He said, uh, just around our Christmas party, I got into a storage cupboard, blah, 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 went through odds and sods box. Oh, he also sent me some clod bits and pieces, which I've actually put on my um, Franken clod. So there were some gearboxes and stuff like that and a load of spare parts. Uh, sent me a car, got used outdoors, a couple of race meets at Coventry Car Club. And as you can tell from the dust, it was put on the shelf and forgotten. F1 cars didn't catch on at the time. They've seen them poke our heads up now and again. Like yourself, I've been racing since 1980, mostly Tamir, some Kurosho Cat and Mar Dave experience with pan cars. So uh, yeah, it was really nice of him to send me that. And it's a brilliant letter. So he actually raced this in Coventry. So there you go. So on the show coming up, we will restore it and uh, hopefully get it up and running again. As far as I know, I'm hoping the electronics work. Um, so there you go, just a quick one, I wanted to show you this lovely vintage kit, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.